Overcoming adversity may sometimes be a challenge for us all. Philosophical farmer Clyde Fenton will find out if his raspberries will survive the bitterly cold weather and winter snow. Is there hope for his next fruit harvest? Let's go find out. Welcome to this segment of The Philosophical Farmer. We're here in front of a blackberry field today, and uh, once again, we're, we're talking about the impact of this unprecedented cold that we've experienced here in Arkansas. And, um, you know, it's a cold that we haven't seen here in Arkansas for, for quite a number of years. I won't put a number on it, but I know I've been here 18 years, and, and I've never seen temperatures like this. We, we basically, experience temperatures here that were temperatures more typical in what's called growing zone five and we're considered growing zone six or seven depending where on the state you're at. I guess the extreme south of our state we're, we're growing zone eight but um, we had temperatures here <clears throat> the other morning that were uh, 10 below zero and there were places near here that were as much as 15 and 20 below zero. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit specifically about blackberries. Now, we have been blessed in this state with we have the world premier breeding program through the University of Arkansas. And with that breeding program, they have produced over 50 different varieties over 50 years. And many of those have been blackberry cultivars. But a lot of those have been the thornless blackberries that we have gotten used to, and they're wonderful to pick because you're not getting torn up, and um, they're a lot easier for the farmers to take care of. If there's a downside to the thornless blackberries is their, their limit, as far as cold hardiness goes, is somewhere around zero. And we expect that this year with 10 below zero, and I won't say this dogmatically, and I certainly hope I'm wrong, but uh, there's a good chance that we may not experience fruit this year on the canes that came through last summer, which are called primocanes, or floricanes, I'm sorry. Primocanes are what'll grow up this spring. But the floricanes are what make the fruit, and um, because of the cold temperatures, what happens is, if you can picture, uh, picture it like this, if you had a bunch of balloons like grapes, and they were filled as full as you could fill them with water and you froze them. And the water expanded in those balloons and it caused those balloons all to crack. Well, when they melt, now all of a sudden those cells can't hold water. And that's exactly what happens in a plant. You get what's called vascular bursting in the plant. And that plant is no longer able to move the nutrients up and down through the xylem and phloem of that plant. Um, anyway, as I said, we don't know for sure yet, but with the temperatures we experience, there's a good chance that there may be uh, great loss on blackberries in Arkansas this year. Again, you know, that's the bad news. The good news is the root systems will probably be fine, and hopefully um, our experience with these unprecedented cold snaps, you know, maybe next year will be more of a normal year and uh, we'll be back in the blackberry business. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to this segment of The Philosophical Farmer. Um, if you have questions about your fruit trees, about your fruit bushes, feel free to call your local extension office. All right, guys, my philosophical thought for today, I wanted to uh, share something with maybe a little bit more levity. One of my favorite philosophers is Dr. Seuss, and I thought he had something pertinent to say about hard times. He says this, I've learned that there are troubles of more than one kind. Some come from ahead, others come from behind. But I've bought a big bat. I'm all ready, you see. Now my troubles are going to have trouble with me. Guys, I know it's been a rough week for a lot of folks. They've dealt with frozen pipes or cold houses or losses in their fruits or in their shrubbery. Um, 
Hang in there, guys. The sun's going to come out tomorrow, and there's better days coming. But let's attack our troubles as they come instead of letting them bog us down. Thanks.